Focus on pouring into your man. Focus on making him feel, and it's not to make you feel small and him feel great. It's not to switch the paradigm of who gets pampered versus who doesn't. That's not the narrative. That's what society tells us. But the narrative is pour into that man because prior to you coming to him, he's been dealing with traumas. He's been suppressing. He's not been being able to be himself because he had to, especially as a black man, you have to be strong. You have to be the provider. You have to be the protector. You have to fit this aesthetic for a black man just on society standards. Then don't be in a married household where you have the mother and father and siblings. Then your dad requires you to be the macho man, the alpha male. And he's raising you to do all of the alpha male yeah. things. Check off all those boxes. And then don't be an alpha alpha male because we yeah. already know how that goes. <laughs> and then on top of that, you know, you now have to combine that with a woman who has a spicy personality. Yeah. So and then you had to deal with her mother who also had a spicy personality because you had to live there. So you're dealing with all of these things. And before you even got to this point of me, now it's like, oh, he's carrying a lot. And I every day I'm adding. And then before you start unpacking your baggage as a woman, assess, oh, my gosh. This man has been suppressing all of these emotions for all of these years in different stages of his life from childhood to teenager to young adult to young man to grown man. And by and depending on when you pick up that man, because when you pick him up when he's an adult, oh, bless your heart. Yeah. Because now yeah, you have, yes, you have 20 plus years of work to unpack. But when you unlock a part of a man where he feels safe, where he feels seen, where he feels heard, where he feels loved, where he feels appreciated, and not in the sense of, oh, you're doing it because you're waiting on him to return it, but you're just genuinely doing it because you want the best for him, he will unlock a piece of him that no matter what you will always have mm. until you break the code. But if you do it correctly and you never get to the point where you break the code, you get to have access, 100% access to him that nobody else gets. Yeah. And I feel like I have 100% access to you in a way where a lot of women couldn't. They only had 20 to 25% yeah. access to you because it was like, yeah, I'm going to be there for him. I'm going to love him. And we talked about this the other day. I'm, I'm going to do all, I'm going to be, I'm going to be vulnerable. I'm going to let him be vulnerable with me. But then the moment that we get in an argument, mm, yeah. I'm pulling out the, the cards. Yeah. I'm, I'm ripping them out. I'm tearing them out. Nah. Yeah. That's, oh, your daddy did this to you when you were a kid. That's why you ain't shit. That's why you ain't this. And yeah. it's like, I told you that in confidence. Now, no, as I a male, right, we pull back. As a man, we pull back. We're like, nah, bro. She went below the belt in a moment that I was vulnerable with her. I shared something deep with her to test her. Mm -hmm. And she failed that test because now we're arguing and she's bringing up all the vulnerable things. I would never let her in. So now as a woman, when you're sitting back and you're like, you don't open up to me. I did. You remember those three times that I opened up to you and then we had three fights later and you brought up all of those things that I shared to you in confidence. That's why I don't share with you now. Yeah. That's why I'm blocked. I'm I feel like a lot of women, they also hold back or they, they lash out because um, the man changing or what they're expecting out of that man, mm. um, they have on their own timeline. Yeah. And it's like, dang, I've been I've been suppressing myself, I've been controlling my emotions. Here we are a year later and he's only opened up to me this much. Man, you don't know how long it took for that man to even get to the point of wanting to speak up about that situation. So the fact that he let you in a little bit is progress. Right. Take the timeline off. Right. There is no timeline. If y'all are for everything, it is a forever thing. It is never going yeah. anywhere. And your conversations will start to manifest more.